Another successful week in the books and Thrive Fantasy Sports has been looking good. With thousands of prizes that they give away each and every week, Thrive Fantasy Sports is the number one go-to for your sports betting app. They're definitely taking all the guesswork out of it. They put everything in one place for you, the consumer, to get all the information you need before making a bet on one of the biggest stars in that day's game. Definitely check it out if you have an Android, go to your Google Play Store. Or if you have an iPhone, go to the App Store. Easy download. And if you use my promo code, Sports Choice, They'll give you your first $50. They'll match it. How's that sound? What are you waiting for? Let's drive together. Hello, sport fan. This is Stephen Hill for Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering the top five possible landing spots where Dwayne Haskins could end up. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now so you can get all the updates each and every time I have breakdown debates just like this. And you can also click the link in the bio to get the Facebook page so you can see the post there directly each and every day that we have discussions there as well. Without further ado, we're going to get right into the action. Looking at this now, Dwayne Haskins has cleared waivers as I expected he would. When a player clears waivers, the team that signs him uh, does not have to honor that former contract. If they would have signed him, they would have to pay him that money that was on that contract before he was terminated. So... Uh, I'm going to give you my five reasons basically with each team while I think he's going to be a good fit there or why he could land there. Um, but moving into this list, we're going to start at number five. Starting at number five, we're looking at the New Orleans Saints with Taysom Hill there. And you're also looking at Jameis Winston there. Neither one of these two quarterbacks has shown me anything that shows me that these are the guys. Neither one has come out in the game and thrown it or done something to the point where I'm comfortable with Drew Brees leaving, and now I'm putting the, the keys to the franchise in this one guy's hand. Yes, Taysom Hill was pretty good, but he wasn't great. He wasn't elite. He didn't do anything to cement himself as the top guy. And because Jameis Winston, for whatever reason, whether he doesn't know the playbook, whether he wasn't explosive enough, whatever the key was, he did not start over Taysom Hill. When you're looking just at the quarterback position, you want a guy that's going to lead you uh, right now, you don't have that in Dwayne Haskins, but uh, get him in a locker room with veterans. Get him in a locker room where he's winning. That could surely change. He could learn from people. He could grow from people. He can get mentors. I know I saw RG3 reaching out to him. So that would be a big thing for that move to the Saints because it's veterans in that locker room that can teach you how to be a professional the right way. In Washington, you don't have a lot of those veterans that are on that side of the ball that can dictate that to him, I believe. Uh, and that's a big part of that. Coming in at number four, the San Francisco 49ers. They're paying Jimmy G right now handsomely. And, and if they want to take a chance and roll the dice with the franchise, Dwayne Haskins has a big arm. He can, for what I see, stay healthy. Um, and Jimmy G is injury prone. That's the biggest reason why we're hearing the 49ers looking into the quarterback position because Jimmy G affects them when he's hurt for five, six games at a time, when they can't count on him to be there for a 10-game stretch. its I know it sucks to hear, but all you 49ers fans have to realize Jimmy G is being shopped. Whether you like it or not, I believe he's going to be shopped by the 2021 NFL draft. I think that's going to be huge because the 49ers are looking for draft capital so they can move up and take one of these possible quarterbacks. So I think that this could be on the, on the horizon. It could be a move, and Kyle Shanahan can work with different players. Yes, you look at the arm talent. He has phenomenal arm talent. The kid's young. He's 23. So anything is possible. But what he does do is give the 49ers a big arm if they do reach out and get him. Uh, it is a possibility, but you're looking at just the availability of him being available is a chance the 49ers may take a look at him. So. That's why I feel that. Number three, the Dallas Cowboys. When you're looking at the Dallas Cowboys, they have been back and forth with Dak publicly, privately, and not really honoring any contract guarantees or anything. They're not probably going to sign him to the maximum of what he's asking for. If I'm Dak Prescott, I'm asking, just release me. After the season, don't franchise tag me. Don't offer me anything. Let me walk and be a free agent if you don't need me. You saw how the Cowboys played with all those backups this year. Yes, Andy Dalton has been winning a couple of football games, but this is not the long-term solution. A landing spot that's fresh. Dwayne Haskins will probably fill that role. He is young still. They have a lot of veterans in that locker room. They could possibly help. 
And then he also has Jerry Jones that can teach him away and help him in certain different areas and help him get more money. Coming in at number two, you're looking at the New England Patriots. If any coach in the NFL has cachet enough to roll the dice and try, try to look at an experiment, it's Bill Belichick. You don't have to pay him millions of dollars. You don't have to give him a big deal. You can make it a, a, a incentive-based deal and see if you can get the most out of him. With this team being young and you have players like Sonny Michelle and you have uh, like Edelman in the locker room, you got guys that have been there, done that, got a t-shirt for it, and they have the respect of the locker room. They can help bring this young guy along. Plus, with Bill Belichick, he's not going to play that for long. You get out of the line once, okay, maybe. Get out of the line twice, you're out. So he doesn't even give you three strikes. So he's done that to some of the biggest stars on the team, and he's also done it to the no-name guy. So it's no nonsense in New England. If he brings you in, do your job, go home, get your paycheck, and that's that's about that with that in New England. I think you could definitely see him going to New England, but that'll help him grow up very quickly if he goes to New England. Bill's not for the BS. He's not for the fuckery either. So uh, looking at number one, this is the top spot, I believe. With the Indianapolis Colts, their offense is limited because Phillip Rivers doesn't have the legs to run at this point. He's a statue. When you're looking at him throwing for basically 4,000 yards this season, yes, he's pretty good still. He has a lot left in the tank. He can still do that little sidearm flicker throw down the field. But you got to keep in mind, the Colts are looking for a quarterback. I don't know if they feel like, you know, Jacoby Brissett is that on the horizon. You know, if they'll use him long term. But you're looking at maybe one of the most talented teams in the NFL. But the quarterback position could be holding them back because... His arm's not big enough. He can't make all the throws anymore. Um, but he can force the ball whenever he needs to. He can fling it, sidearm it. But I don't think that explosion, every single play that he needs to really stretch the field, is there. And I think the Colts are looking at a lot of different pieces. Not just Dwayne Haskins, but a lot of different free agent quarterbacks and quarterbacks in the draft. So when I look at the Colts, they've upgraded the defensive side of the ball with the Forrest Buckner. They're serious about wanting to get better. So I can see them entertaining this. They have the locker room with the defensive support, with the offensive support, with a pretty good offensive line. A lot of things that Haskins probably needs in order to grow. So these are my top five landing spots possibly for Dwayne Haskins. What do you guys feel? What do you guys feel about the situation? Leave your comments in the comment section below. And definitely thank you so very much for supporting and checking out Sports Choice Plus each and every week. Um, until next time, be safe and I hope you have a happy new year, you and your family.